As we all know, being number one in any sport is quite an accomplishment. It always comes from hard work, determination, and focus. And like athletes, students at High Technology High School in Lincroft have proven they're at the top of their game. U.S. News ranked them number one out of all U.S. high schools in math and science. The ranking's great. We're really proud, obviously, of our students for that achievement. It's certainly a, a, a tremendous accolade that reflects on the efforts of our faculty and our students and really on our whole community. What you're saying is jumbled in the middle. I'm seeing is this. That's well, nice. It's nice to be there. I mean, we've, we've been in top ten for many years, but to hit that number one, it was like, it was a nice feeling. High Tech High is one of five career academies in Monmouth County. The pre-engineering curriculum emphasizes the interconnections between math, science, technology, and the humanities. We're thematic, and what we do needs to be driven around that theme. Not, uh, it's not the be-all, end-all, but it's what drives what we do. And uh, when you're talking about the fields that we're preparing these students for, I think you have no choice but to be hands-on. There aren't any hidden lines, right? Because um, because they would be covered by the solid lines. If right, were. right. If, they're, if the solid lines are first, then the, it takes precedence. Yeah, so so they're working on a three-dimensional solid modeling package called Inventor. Uh, so they were drawing that from given dimensions, and then they were analyzing it, the, the mass properties of it, deciding on, you know, figuring out what the weight was, the volume, and the density, and then applying different uh, uh, questions and scenarios with that. We're giving them an opportunity to kind of excel here and kind of do what they want to do. And we have a good learning environment here. We give them the, the best tools. And so, you know, I, I think for them it helps them out, you know, getting to colleges and things like that. But, you know, I just, you know, I think we're just doing, doing what we do. I look upon myself as preparing tomorrow's technical leaders in this country. I expect to read about these guys in the newspaper in 10 years or so. I mean, I'm not talking about just another high school class. I expect these people will, some of them will own their own company, some will have invented things, some will be politically motivated and bring science into the political arena. Uh, they'll be everywhere, but they are, they're going to go someplace. Is there anything you discovered today about classification? I really love teaching AP Biology. It's a senior level course, and the expectations for the students, I think, come from within the students, and I think also the expectations come from the faculty, where we expect them to want to learn, we expect them to do the work, and the, the bottom line is everyone's looking for them to achieve, to learn, to be successful, and hopefully go on and be happy with their choice of their career. My maximum carrying capacity was 5,000. When would we grow in the fastest? 2,500. If it were 2,000? 1,000. If it were 750? This is our 21st year, and we are writing curriculum all the time. I mean, I think this is our 13th year with the research program, and I've taught the stats every year, and we've taught it differently every year. We've never done it the same. We improve upon it. We collect our own data about how students perform. We reflect upon it, and at the end of the school year, we change it and then start anew in September. Okay, so go ahead and calculate that using 0.05 or anything smaller. Outside of uh, the classes, we actually have a mentorship program where I've been lucky enough to intern at Alcatel Lucent's Bell Labs, which has been you know real experience seeing what you know is done in a real engineering lab. So it's very special programs at high tech, you know, like the research program as well, which prepare us really well for um, a professional career. I like the uh, extra classes that high tech offers that aren't part of the main curriculum. I mean, I'm a fan of math and English and history is always great, but things like digital electronics, which I'm taking this year, or principles of engineering, which I took last year, things that really develop that engineering stuff that you might not learn in a different school. One of the kind of unique elements of high tech is the open lockers, and uh, it's not policy, it's not a requirement, but it's uh, something that the students do to really make a statement about how they trust each other and it really is more of a community. That first senior class that I worked with, when, when they came in and started as sophomores, they didn't want to memorize locker combinations, so the lockers were open. The next class came in, they said, hey listen, we don't close our lockers, right? You can close your locker if you want, but you will respect the fact that we leave our lockers open. That stayed. Oh, nice bet. <laughs> Uh, the Senior Lounge, I think, is something that's unique about our school. 
and it's just a place to hang, it's our place to eat, it's our place to uh, play in our free time. We have a lot of video games and we watch shows and movies and talk with our friends there. I'm really, really glad I came because it's like, it's definitely unlike any other high school and it makes the high school experience really wonderful. It gives you a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of chances to express yourself and to explore, I guess. What I think was special about this ranking was that it was a comparison of nationally math and science high schools. And when you look at that comparison and you, you know, and you, you come out ahead, you feel pretty good that you're doing something right and that you know, your goal and your mission is, is being accomplished. But uh, we don't rest there. We don't by any means feel like, okay, we've reached number one and now we can coast. Uh, we're constantly looking at our curriculum. We're constantly looking at uh, refining and revising and updating. Um, in whatever way is appropriate to prepare students for that career. That's, a, that's ultimately the goal. In your window, make your X max at least, I would say 150.